Lynette, you've brought us this amazing story that we've seen in this virtual reality film that you made. You're calling it Collisions. Mm -hmm. What collides in that film? Well, what collides initially is um, uh, Nyeri's or and the Madu people's sort of long-term relationship to place with our technological development. So if you haven't seen this film, um, Neri, who's standing there, is a Madu man. The Madu lived in a part of Australia that was um, people didn't want for grazing or growing, so they were left alone for a lot longer than many of the Aboriginal people of Australia, and their first contact was in the 1960s, 1960s. They lived until then as every generation had before. But in the 1950s, Britain was testing atomic bombs in the outback of Australia, seven atomic tests. And Nyeri, was the Maru were nomadic people, was moving through part of that area. Unbeknownst to Britain, they took an area that was had a trade route running through it. So people from other tribal groups could move through. The area was five times the size of Great Britain. One man in a four-wheel drive was driving around, trying to make sure that no one would come in contact with those tests. And he didn't succeed. So in the 1950s, Neri was walking through there and what he collided with, his whole world vision collided with our technology. Um, and what he thought that was is why that film exists. When he saw this blast that he did not know was an atomic bomb. Yeah, so until then, uh, the Madu, who I've worked with now for since 2012, 2011, um, their, they can, their first contact story is a recent and so then very in living memory. Everything they saw that was new, they could only relate to what they already knew. So the intervention of something into that worldview that was unknown could only be read according to the known. So when I asked Neri, what did you think that was? He said, we thought it was the spirit of our gods rising up to speak with us. And what did he think after you explained to him what it was and showed him the film of Oppenheimer? Well, when I met Neri, he already knew what that was because I met him four years ago, but for a period of time that I don't know the length of, he ate kangaroos that were wiped to the ground by the aftershock. He thought his God was giving him a gift. So the Maru men, especially nomadic hunters, spent all of their time trying to catch kangaroos in the way that, in that way of consciousness that you would talk about, um, watching a mob of kangaroos, seeing which was the old, seeing which was pregnant, seeing which was young, choosing the oldest one, knowing that that was the one to take. So, but here in front of them were a whole lot of leveled kangaroos. So they thought God had given them some special gift. 